All right, I paid $3,800 for this absolutely insane pile of Magic the Gathering Murders at Call of Manor set. I bought three, six, 12 play boosters, six bundles, four pre-release kits, four collector booster boxes, and of each commander deck, I bought seven. So I have each commander deck seven times, as you can see. I will do something really cool with these in my commander deck video. But yeah, $3,800. I don't have that money. So what are we gonna do in the coming two weeks is open all of these products and see how much money I can recoup if I sell the singles. And of course, what interests are us the most are these play boosters. I also have a few knickknacks here that I will be checking out in the end of the video. I was just came coming back from a pre-release event. So I have some promo cards, the two boosters I won, the pre-release kit and the deck that I used. And I bought the play booster display at my local game store as well. Even though I had like 12 running around here, I still bought one at my LGS just to support it. I really like that game store. So yeah, this is the one that we are gonna open and see if they are worth the money that you pay for them. I'm gonna do the same with all the others. I'm gonna compare a bunch of products in the coming weeks, etc. etc. You know the drill of it. Uh, but yeah, play boosters is the thing that interests probably the most of you guys because as you know, or maybe don't know, um, Wizards of the Coast replaced draft and set boosters with play boosters. So they we don't have two different boosters anymore. We have these play boosters, and they you can draft them. And they have multiple rare select set boosters. So they're basically like set boosters, but you can draft them. So draftable set boosters, basically, you know, I didn't really slash it there. And this is really interesting because this is the first time there's a different product. And I have from all the other products that I opened really nice data, as you know, in my Google Sheet for all the set boosters that I opened, draft boosters that I opened. So it's really interesting to see how these play boosters compare. What's also really interesting is the price, and it's way too much. It's um, They go for the same amount as set boosters, but of course, since they are draftable, there needs to be around 36 packs in here. So one of these boxes goes for $135 or $40. I actually got, I bought this one for 136 euros, which is basically the same in dollars, but I saw, um, I bought all the other ones a little bit cheaper for 132.50. And what's already interesting is these are more expensive than the set booster packs. Wizards of the Coast said it's the same price as set booster packs, but per pack you pay $3.70. If I take the cheapest price that I found, $3.70. Well, like the cheapest price that I found is $132 for this box. Uh, 36 packs, so $3.69, something like that for one pack, while for all the other set boosters that I bought, the cheapest price that I pre-ordered them for is always €107.50, and in those you had like 30 packs, so what ends up being is like 158 uh, no, $3.58, sorry, so $3.58 for a normal set booster pack, and $3.69 for a play booster pack. So 10 cents per pack more. Why? Why is this more expensive? I thought it should be, like in my opinion, it should be the same amount as draft booster packs, but that's even a little bit more expensive than set booster packs. It's a little bit weird. I think they aimed for the same amount, for the same price as set boosters, but what I actually experience right now is that they are 10 cents more expensive than set booster packs. But they can have multiple rares, so, uh, since I also have a lot of data from my previous um, openings, I know how many rares I pulled more or less from set booster packs. So we can compare this as well. So that's what we're gonna do. I will open this set booster box now. I will scan each rare and mythic. I will see how much money is in here, how many rares we pull. And yeah, that's basically it. And we're gonna do the same with all the other products. And we're gonna start here with pick your poison. I go through the comments and uncomments slowly for the first few packs. Am I also gonna... Oh, this one is a strong card. I played this one in the pre-release event. And we have here our first showcase. That's the Dossier Showcase. It's a nice, like, detective file-ish style. It's pretty cool. 
And yeah, you can have showcase, you can have, you always have a foil, you can have multiple rares in these play booster packs. It's basically a set booster pack that you can draft. And we got our first rare here, X Bane Ferox. And I will use my scanner here right now to scan this card. And these prices, I checked them, they should be quite accurate for dollar prices. As you can see, it's $1.38. And I use TCG player prices on my scanner, just so my US viewers have a more relevant source here since I always sell buy and sell in euros but the scanner is gonna say around uh, what what the cards are around in dollars escape tunnel a decent land that I also use and we got a list card here I'll go through the slots in my next pack so we got a list card here but it's uncommon and we got a basic land foil and a human some of these tokens can have a puzzle on the back so that's pretty cool all right, so let's go through the slots. What are in these play boosters? We have the first six slots are always common. So one, this is also a good card. Two, three, four, five, six. Six commons. All right, the next slot can be common, which it is now, and will be most of the time common, but it also can be a list card or a special guest card. So since we then so since we got the common here there's no list or special guest card in this booster pack as far as i know and then and all, all of these comments can have a special showcase so that's pretty cool so then we have three uncommons murder of course a very strong card one two three uncommons uh, all right so what we got here else why do we have four uncommons that's a little bit weird normal lies is the fourth uncommon i thought there should be a guaranteed rare which is this one um, yeah I don't know so we have a guaranteed rare here Pesa this time I'll scan this one is four dollars pretty good I will sell the scanner picks up everything that is above a dollar let me actually try to let me try to put the sound up so we get a nice bling bling no is it muted? No. Why is the sound not turning on? Usually, this kind of gives a sound if you put it on here. Yeah, whatever. Let's do it without sound for now. Oh, there we go. No, I should be a nice sound. All right. So this kind of picks up anything that is above a dollar, which is one the ones that I sell. We got a foil here and a nice basic lens. So yeah, I guess this fourth common. I don't understand. So basically we have a basic land slot, then we should have a non-foil wild card slot. Maybe that's the one, this one here, that was the non-foil wild card. Then we got a foil wild card, this can also be rare. And a fourth common, I don't know. I have no clue, let's check. So we opened two play booster packs and we only got two, two rares. So basically the same as draft booster packs. Right, let's see if we can do better here. One, two, three four five six commons seventh common so no list special guest one two three uncommons four uncommons and we got a mythic undergrowth recon let's scan this one this one goes for eight bucks nice and we got our first decimal in the scanner so for anybody man i have so much to say i forget like um you, you guys can see the coins adding up now you should have one coin there and you can claim these coins that will add up by the end of the video by leaving a comment a bunch of strong cards here let me go a little bit slower for these starting gore hounds pretty good i hear it didn't play this one this is also pretty good i hear it. didn't play this one this one i played it's pretty strong nice removal uh this i didn't play this one I played against. I just removed it, I think, even with this one <laughs> during my games. Oh, this one is pretty strong. I played this a lot in my previous event just now. All right, Leyline of the Guild Packs, the first rare, and nothing else. We only get one rare each time. These are pretty bad odds. Uh, $8.90, really good rares though. Really expensive rares, it seems. So yeah, you guys, you can see the coins adding up. And you can claim these coins by leaving a comment under this video. You have time to leave a comment and claim these coins until the next video is uploaded so tomorrow. So you should be claiming these coins fast. Oh, we got a case here. It's a new enchantment. 
sorry that I'm always interrupting. And these coins will help you in the giveaway because I will be doing a giveaway in two weeks time after I open all the products. Drag the canal, canal, not canal. $1.27, still above a dollar, nice. A foil, fairy snoop. I will be doing a giveaway where I will be giving away a play booster box and maybe more. I still have to wait on words of my sponsor, what they're gonna send me. I will give you anything the sponsor sends me for free. And as in the giveaway, it's probably gonna be a collector booster box. We will see. I am not gonna promise anything because I didn't hear from my sponsor for three weeks. Can you believe that shit? I wrote them. Oh, this is interesting. So I'll keep this one quickly. Kylox False Rider. Nice mythic. Pulling a lot of mythics. In the pre-release event, I also pulled three mythics. Can you believe that? And nothing else. One rare per pack. Wow. So yeah, I didn't hear from my sponsor for three weeks. I wrote them every week. And but now they should be getting to me on Monday because my contact person apparently only returns on Monday. Illicit masquerade. And then they're gonna tell me what they're gonna send me for this set as a sponsorship. And then I can tell you what you get in the giveaway. So yeah. The more coins you have, the higher the chance of winning in that giveaway. So claim as many as you can during the next two weeks while I'll open all these products. This is there. I already know most of these cards. Connecting the dots. Oh, we got two rares in one pack. Wow. 265. Pretty solid prices. I checked actually. I scanned already a few cards and checked on uh, Card Kingdom if the prices are accurate and they should be accurate. What the scanner tells me now. The scanner is called Mana Box, by the way. Did I um, did I mention that? A lot of people ask me in the comments what the scanner is called. It's Mana Box. And it's pretty fast and nice scanner. I like it a lot. All right. This one was a decent card. I played this. This one is a decent, <laughs> a really funny card. Um, it's a 2-1 that you can disguise for a 6. So you have to pay 6 to flip it, but then it gets plus 4, plus 4. But yeah, I played it. But oh, we got a land here. And there's a new type of land, I think. And the battlefield tapped. And the battlefield surveil 1. Not sure if these are valuable. Let's see. 186. All right. And we got a second rare, Judith Carnage Connoisseur. All right. It's 340 for that one. And nothing else. Pretty cool basic lens. Man, I'm skipping these. But I should show them a little bit more. Cool basic lens. Not the best that I saw. They're a little bit too busy for me. But I like that they do full art basic lens each set now. I like that. All right. Bunch of strong cards that I saw. Didn't play this one. I was really thinking about it, but I didn't actually put it in the deck. Another of these, one of these lands, this surveil lands. 224. And we got Aurelia, the last, uh, the law above. And this is the card that I lost my uh, last round against Aurelia. This one is really annoying. Flying Vigilance Haste. Really annoying card. Let's see if it works something. 489. Pretty nice. We didn't pull a single rare below a dollar. That's weird. That doesn't happen usually with other sets. Okay. Alright. Not a gore hound. Not a one of these magnifying showcase treatments. And these are always spells. And they are always story spotlight cards, I think. So we got makeshift binding. That's something that happens in the story. I actually didn't follow the story that much. And yeah, Tolzimir Midnight's Light, legendary creature. Oh, Ragdos, nice. 197, let's see how much Ragdos, patron of chaos is worth. Six, six for six. 957, pretty nice. All right, we got out cold, which is also pretty strong removal. In foil, I'll skip any comments and uncomments. There might be a few com uncomments that are worth something. I'll skip them. I'm not gonna scan them. I will be compiling full common and uncommon sets to sell at the end of all this. So I need every common and uncommon that I pull. All right, hedge mace. 
the next rare here. 318, uh, Lamplight Phoenix. Another rare. Now we're getting some multiple rares per pack. That's nice. We are already at $66. Man, that seems too much. Swamp in foil. Nice. Uh, what I'm gonna do is after I am opening uh, after I open this box, I will put the cards up on card market and Then maybe I'm gonna do a little edit in the video come back and tell you guys how much I put these up for at the end of this video uh, Anzrak's rampage one rare 370 and nothing else a bunch of art cards actually so in the last slot you can have a token or an, an ad or a helper card or an art card stuff like that and, and uh, comments and comments private eyes pretty strong i think profits um addict memory how much is this one four bucks all right and we got a list card millstone man Every set we got millstone. Shouldn't be worth much. I'm not gonna scan this one. And a basic planes. Impossible lands. Alright. We are pretty good here. Seven, uh, $74. Damn. That's a lot. Uh, while not even, I think, half of the pack and boxes opened. Case of the Crimson Pulse. So there are these new enchantments that look like Zagas. It's a case. This effect happens all the time. There's a condition to solve the case, and once it's solved, this effect triggers. So a little bit of a new art type, I guess. A foil and another list card. Metal Spinner Puzzle Knot, which is not rare. So we can have up to four rares in one pack. One guaranteed, one in the non-foil wild card, one in the foil wild card slot, and one of in the list slash special guest slot. We never, uh, I think, we didn't open the pack yet with three rares. Assassin's Trophy. Oh, mythic there. Two bucks. Assassin's Trophy, not bad. Uh, Strata Deadly Fugitive is three, uh, uh, no, 739. And nothing else. Clue token there. All right. Um, if you guys are wondering what I'm gonna do with the 12 play booster boxes, I actually want to do a stream with six of these. Oh, there we go. Man, now I buried that one card. That's pretty interesting. I saw that online already. Probably most of you guys saw as well. Let's see if I can find the card again. So there's a, some kind of puzzle in this set. I actually have no clue. Maybe I should rest, um, look it up a little bit. But there's some kind of puzzle that you can solve or whatever. You can go on a website and solve that puzzle there. I have no clue, but I don't know what you have to do. But I hear this card is part of that puzzle because can I find it? Did I bury it too far? There we go. Look at this. We got the same card. Oh, can we focus? We got the same card. But one has red drapes and one has white drapes and they have the same collector number. And this is supposed to be part of the puzzle. I don't know what it means. I don't know what to do with these, but it's pretty cool. That's pretty interesting. I have to look out for differences like these for my collection. Okay. Uh, are these all the rares? Yeah, we got Taser again, Opulent Oligarch. It's a dollar card, not bad. A foil and nothing else. So, I want to do a stream with six play booster boxes. Um, this, well, next Friday, so in a week. So, I would really appreciate you guys checking in. I will explain a little bit what I do in that stream, maybe in a future video. But basically, I will be opening six play booster boxes and try to get an average value of a play booster pack. So I'm gonna take all these play boosters that I will open during the stream together, divided by the amount that I opened, and see what the average value is of one play booster pack. Isn't that cool? I think that's a nice concept for a stream. 
probably should go around two hours. So yeah, subscribe to the channel. The stream is gonna show up maybe a day before or maybe a half day before in your subscription feed or something like that. I don't know how YouTube streams work. It's gonna be my first stream. And we got a list card here again, high alert. Didn't get a single um, rare list drop yet. We got a dog token, which reminds me of that secret layer that um, recently came out. I actually bought one, one of these commander decks with the dogs and cats. Oh man, that was a hassle. I don't know why they had to limit the the limit the secret layers like that. Last love, wear of faces. Rare. Two dollar nineteen and nice impossible island. I don't think we showed this one yet. Pretty cool. Yeah. I like this set. The artwork is not as cool as Ixalan maybe, but man, it was such a blast to play during the pre-release. So much more fun than Ixalan, I have to say. I really enjoyed it a lot, and my deck was really strong. Curved Ambusher in the Dossier. Didn't see this Dossier that much yet. And we got Krenko here. I also played against this one. Wasn't that strong. Wasn't that annoying to play against. The dollar. There we go. Alright. So yeah, I will be showing my pre-release deck to you guys at the end of this video. I will be scanning that these cards there as well to add a little bit to the coins. Satchel. I almost thought it's an excellent card here, but yeah, that Satchel was. Ezrim Agency Chief. This card here. Oh, and uh, analyze the pollen in the magnifying showcase. $2. A rare magnifying showcase card. Oh, I like the showcase also. Oh, two showcase cards. Uh, $4.99 coerced to kill, but it's not a rare, unfortunately, but it looks cool. Anything else? All right. If you guys, I will be putting this up on card market. If you guys want to know exactly how much I will put in. I will be putting these cards up on card market to sell and how much they actually sell for check the google link the the link to the google sheet in the description argus cost spirit of justice if you guys want to check out your current coin count it's also in the google sheet i'm sorry that i really tried until yesterday night like i tried to make my website at least i wanted you guys to be able to log in into the website and display your coins there <coughs> I couldn't do it. I didn't manage to do it. It was such a clusterfuck with these Google login thing, unyielding gatekeeper. And I have no clue about all of this coding stuff. I'm a noob. So I didn't figure it out, unfortunately, yet. Um, and now I have to work a little bit on the stream. So it's gonna be, the website is probably gonna be the next set, maybe for Fallout. We will see. Cryptex. Didn't see this card yet. 86 cents. Whoa, the first rare below a dollar. That goes. Now we have a shit pile here. Underground Mortuary and Foil. Scan this. And now we can toggle the foil. I think that's the first time we have a foil rare. 433, uh, 32. For the foil Alright. Oh, this is cool artwork. Airtight Alibi. Nice name, nice card. Didn't see it played in the pre-release, so I'm not sure if it's good or not. There's also a decent card. I played this one a lot. Profs, Edict, Memory again. Already pulled this one, and that's it. The only rare in here. Four dollars though. Really solid rares. We have 118 dollars, so a little bit more, and we made our money back with this one apparently. That's pretty cool. I will see how much they actually sell for on card market. Uh, Steam Core Scholar. <coughs> Man, I have really dry throat now. I've got to drink some water. 174. And we got Nif Mizzet Guild Packed. Awesome looking card. I like Nif Mizzet, uh, Nif Mizzet cards. Unfortunately, they are pretty cheap. They're not so valuable. Five colored Nif Mizzet. Really useless in a draft or sealed event. 
So three dollars sixty-eight, twenty-eight for the foil version. All right, two packs left. And some comments. Oh, we got a borderless land. And the same, it's also a survey land, but borderless, and I really like the art on these ones. This looks cool. And this one is five bucks. Are these surveillance really that good? Uh, yeah. Assemble the players, another rare. $4.42. And oh, we got a rare list card. For anybody who doesn't know list cards, you can recognize them by this symbol in the corner here. Uh, reprints of all the sets. So this one is from Strixhaven. And it's a rare. And usually all the set rares are really cheap. This one is 174 though, so that's nice. It definitely goes into the sellable pile. All right. Man, my plaster here. Every time, every time a new set comes out, I hurt my hand. I cut it or I beat it. <laughs> that's so annoying. I cut my hand again. So I have this one again. Outrageous robbery. 350. And nothing else. We didn't really get any of these puzzle tokens, which is weird because I got two of those during my pre-release. In my pre-release pack. But I don't know why we don't pull any yet. We only pull art cards for some reason. Alright, we got a mythic here. Trostani three uh, three whisperer. No, not three. Three whispers. There we go. I saw trees and I thought it's trees. Right. Six packs left. And we are already above a hundred. Man, I already I, I, I even missed it. I missed that we went into the green. Hundred and forty-three dollars. So this play booster actually made me my money back. So that's a really good sign. The prices will drop, of course, in the next few days. Now they might be still inflated because it's really the first day of release. So they will definitely drop and I'm curious how much I actually will sell these cards for. If you're also curious, you can join me on that journey in my Google Sheet. By checking my Google Sheet, you will see exactly yeah, how much I sell these for. Ill-timed explosion. And then you guys know which products are worth your money. I do this all for signs. All right. 193 and definitely not because I absolutely am addicted to cracking packs here. All for science, guys. All right. Roku's Theater. I don't know how to pronounce that. I guess it's the same card that we pulled earlier in the full art, but this is the normal art. 429. Man, these lands. Treacherous Greed. 47 and nothing else punch out card back there all right three packs left the last three packs already green so i don't worry about too much and we got officious interrogation two dollars and if miss it again guilt packed we got and you know what i just noticed there's not really any really big card that we pulled. I don't think we pulled a single card above $10. Most of these are below $10, but a lot of them, well, almost all of them are above a dollar, which really tells me actually that I think the prices will crash fast. Lush Portico, another of these lands. $4.11. Pyrotechnic Performer. Two dollars and nothing else so yeah it's a bit weird it's a bit different i actually didn't look up any card i didn't look up the most valuable cards maybe we got unlucky here but really every card we pulled is below ten dollars but above a dollar which is really rare and weird to me we got a dossier tosimir here pretty cool can't wait to open collector booster boxes where we can have these invisible ink cards Maybe I'll pull one. Hope so. And a signed art card for the end. All right, that was it. That was the play booster 
display. How many rares did we pull? How much money are, the, uh, are those rares worth? $168. So that's 16 coins for you guys. And it's more than 136 euros that I paid for it. So it means all of this book is for free, basically. And, and this card is for free as well. <laughs> uh, when I sell actually all of these cards for that same price that Iskander told, told me, I'll try that to, uh, to do that. I will try to squeeze every penny. But <clears throat> we will see how much I actually will make back on these. And yeah. Actually, I will be putting, yeah, as I promised, I will be putting these up now on card market. And then it's going to be a little edit. And after that edit, I will also scan my pre my deck that I won, uh, won the pre-release that I used in the pre-release event the two boosters that I won in the pre-release I will be opening these as well and I will be scanning all these promo cards that I got for some reason I got more than expected so we got to buy a box promo here and three pre-release promos just for participating <coughs> you get these three promos I wonder how much worth they are so there's a few coins more to get after the little edit here and yeah, I'll be back in a second. Uh, guys, I think I'm gonna be broke. Oh my God. I put up these cards on card market and it's way below what the scanner says, way below. I don't know what I did wrong with the scanner. I actually double checked if the prices are accurate, but they don't seem to be accurate and not even for card kingdom. So I put this up on card market. So I thought maybe in Germany they are cheaper than uh, in the US on Card Kingdom because I calibrate this kind of to Card Kingdom, but uh, about the same. I checked now on Card Kingdom as well. I don't have 160 whatever eight dollars here. I have 72 dollars here. 72 dollars. There's not a single card above 10 bucks. There's rarely any card above five dollars. Most of these cards are below a dollar, but more like 50 cents which is also a little bit weird, uh, unusual. And yeah, so these are here, the first ones that I have are below, uh, are above a dollar. All these lands, which is surprising. I thought these lands actually should be, would be less, but yeah, until Krenko. So these ones are above a dollar and then all of these are below a dollar, even Aurelia, can you read that? I lost this card. Uh, some mythics below a dollar. What is going on with the set? I checked all the graphs while I put up the cards, right? and. The graphs all were like like this. I don't know what's going on. Maybe they're gonna pick up again. But now we don't have $168, we have $71, which means I lost half of the buying price. Half. If I lose half on $3,800, um, that's uh, 1,000, how much? 900, $1,900 loss. I cannot make this with YouTube back. Oh my God. Oh my god. Well, actually, the commander the commander decks would probably save a few hundred here and there. I am a little bit afraid, but I'm going to pull through. And I hope I just got unlucky here. Because, well, unlucky, I mean, I hope the price go up again. Because most cards are... Like, the most expensive card is the, uh, the um, Delny Streetwise Lookout, which is like $20. $21.90 on card market. $21.99 on card kingdom. So about the same, that's the most expensive card that you can pull from the normal set. From the special treatment set, it's the same card, but for 30 bucks or something. And then only if you get like an invisible ink or a serialized card, maybe you can get more than 30 bucks. But man, oh man, man, oh man, this is going to be tough for me. But either way, as I promised, I will go through this pre-release deck <laughs> with you guys. Oh man, I'll go through this pre-release deck. I had a, a, still a blast playing this one and let me see where we can start. And look at this, what I pulled here. I pulled the prof in the dossier artwork. I pulled three mythics and I had a blue white deck. Let's go first through these cards that I didn't put in my deck. Some punch outs. So yeah, there's also this promo. It says pre-release here. And apparently you cannot play this in your in your deck, but it's part like you have a, a promo in each pre-release pack, and you actually have two promos. So this one and then the normal one with the stamp. Let's see if I can find it. Should be foil. Probably didn't play that either. 
with this one with this one there we go so usually you have promos like these with these with the stamp here but now you have two promos in your pre-release pack so you get this one as well this one is actually also 15 bucks actually should we scan now all right let's scan these cards as well to get a few more coins just so i feel better so i paid th <laughs> i paid 35 euros for this pre-release event let's see if i can make 35 euros back um minus the the fun that i had all right let's scan this voila it's in german and it doesn't scan actually all right so that's bad i actually did look up uh, the price on card market before it's 15 dollars 15 dollars but since it didn't scan i'm probably just gonna ignore it or maybe we can set the settings no go here settings maybe use card kingdom well, let's try card market can we change no let's try card kingdom still didn't change doesn't scan i guess it's not part of the database for the scanner yet either way let's scan the next one the promo card here um Tosimir. all of these are in german so i cannot really translate them on the fly well actually it says here midnight's light 99 cents goes here did the scanner now <laughs> since i turned to card kingdom have more accurate prices what we got here there's no rares here well there should be one rare still that i didn't use in my deck one two oh actually this was a strong card but i didn't play green we got an arena code here yeah this card i played against twice from two different people and it really gave me headaches is this a rare nope this is a rare and i got a nice impossible land there Either way, let's scan all the rares here. This one, not sure how much, what is this in English? 599, come on, man. Let's keep the scanner. Let's keep the scanner like it is now. Uh, Kylox, Visionary, whatever. Inventor, maybe. Visionary Inventor, 49 cents. Uh, this one, 59 cents. Is this really that expensive? I thought this card is shit. Audience by Prostani. 49 cents. Now the scan is probably more accurate. And then I'll come in here. All right. So these were the rares that I didn't pick for my deck. And now let's go to the deck. And I think this deck was really strong. Unfortunately, I'm not the best player. So I only won one round. The first one. The second one, I lost two games and won one game. And the third one, I lost two games and won one game. So... It was always close, but man, I really got unlucky with the last two, I have to say. It's not an excuse, I really got unlucky. The first one I get way too lucky. In the first round I got way too lucky each game, way too strong hands, and then I got unlucky. So yeah, I uh, won one round, I lost two rounds, and got two booster packs as a prize, which is weird because the last time I also won one round and lost two, and I only got one set booster pack, now I got two play booster packs. All right, so these are all the rares that I pulled. Actually, Mythics. I don't have even a rare in the deck, only three Mythics. So, man, this deck was cool. This was a really fun deck. I had some detective synergies. I had some um, clue token synergies. It was really cool. Is it scan ready? I guess so. Yeah, these are worth a little bit, a little bit more. Qu uh, Alquist Prof in Dossier artwork 6.99 i don't believe this so yeah we have 19 dollars just for the pre-release pack and then i got some promos we got this buy a box promo since i bought the play um, booster box we got this one they shouldn't be worth much it doesn't scan because it's not in the database i put it here for now i'll put it in the in the in the google sheet if i and sell it on card market uh, you can find this in the google sheet the link is in, is in the description and i've got some promos here and it has a nice 30 year stamp here even though 30 years is over i guess now this is the first set 2024 deadly dispute 
pre-release promo. It's not part of the database. I guess all of these are not. Veto, Thorn of the Dust Grows, pretty cool. Retro frame cards. Probably also not gonna scan. No, it did scan, but this is not the correct version though. Oh, there we go. But no price for it yet. So it's part of the database, but there are no prices. So I guess maybe it's not on Card Kingdom. And Cultivieren. And Foil. Also no price. Yeah. Again, you can check the price in the Google Sheet if it's if I can find it on Card Market to sell on there. And now we can open my two Play Booster packs that I won during this pre-release event. And I got one rare, Strixhaven, Uncommon, List Card, nothing else, Deadly Cover-Up, worth something. A little bit blurry, but 99 cents, so nope. And I put it, where do I put it? I need to put it separately because these are German, I cannot mix it because then I get issues selling them. All right. Got another one here. Case card. And we got a land. Alright, not too bad. And the case. These cases are also worth a little bit. So that's cool. Land and the case. Both a dollar something. $2.99. And this one. $3.99. Alright. So we are at a total of $26. So that's two more coins for you guys. Not that much more. Um, yeah, I'm curious how much these promos sell for. I don't think much since I got them for free, so I wouldn't put my hopes up for those. Either way, that was my pre release pack. Uh, I really had a blast, it was really fun. The last round I played against <laughs> like a 10 year old kid, 12 year old kid, I was always so close, man. But now, uh, but in the end, he just uh, he just like tracked me. Well played, kid. Next time I get you. But, um, yeah. You see? Here are the tokens that I got from my pre release pack. Wait, which tokens were these? Yeah. I got these two tokens, both crew tokens. And on the other side, we have a scene. I don't think I have either. You like that? No. So we can put up a scene here, and then that's also part of that weird puzzle that you have to solve. Oh, there are some numbers here. 16, 8. Hmm. Interesting. I'll try to put up the puzzle. If you guys know a little bit more about the puzzle, let me know in the comments. I'm really curious what I actually need to do to solve anything here. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little bit longer, I guess. But um, yeah, I'm really afraid now what all the other boxes will give me. Oh man, if I lose a bunch of money on this, that's gonna be horrible. Either way, um, at least you guys are not gonna lose it <laughs> if you watch my videos. Maybe it's gonna scratch that itch of opening and then you see that I only pull, uh, yeah, like this. And then you're like, no, 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 I'm not gonna buy anything like that. So yeah, I'm doing this for you guys, I promise. So leave a comment to claim all these coins for the giveaway. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to follow my journey of opening all these products and yeah leave a like also that probably helps with the algorithm I would really appreciate it check the link in the description to my google sheet um, to see exactly how much I sell these cards for in the end all my data all my previous all my previous product openings and stuff like that you can find it all there in the future it's gonna you can find it on my website not yet though and yeah See you next time. See you tomorrow with a collector booster box. That's what I'm going to open tomorrow, probably. <coughs> so that's going to be fun. All right. Peace out, guys.